Wilson Foundation was established in 2007. Well, our two areas of interest are the arts and social justice issues. So we support things like the Biennale and the, and the various art galleries and dance and theatre. And then we have sort of our grittier causes, as we call them, that are a bit less glamorous. The fact that the Biennale is free and that um, it does have non-museum venues like Cockatoo Island, like Carriage Works, I just think that gives us such a, you know, a much broader audience. And you know, you go to Cockatoo Island on a weekend and you see families of people that have made a day out of it. Um, and these are people who probably wouldn't feel so comfortable going into a museum space, but here they are experiencing the best sort of international contemporary art that there is at the moment. It's cutting edge alongside, you know, the best Australian contemporary art in this incredible environment. And I think that really makes the Sydney Biennale special. Just the excitement of the, of the contrast. So here we have sort of cutting edge art, and then you've got the you know, remnants of, of um, convict labour and those magnificent old buildings, and you think, goodness, these were just utility buildings, and yet they're quite attractive and thought through. But then the art was, was very interesting. I just think it's fabulous that families who might not otherwise look at art mm. suddenly see contemporary art, and one out of ten or three or whatever pieces they suddenly allude to mm. and they think, my goodness, that's art. Yeah. And the very fact that kids are exposed to interesting mm. art at a young age, I think is, is just a wonderful mm. way to get them started to think a bit more broadly about what really is creativity. Because it's free, because it, it gets that broad audience, because it exposes people to this you know, great work that they otherwise wouldn't see, you'd have to travel overseas to see this and here it is in our, in our backyard. You yeah. wouldn't fully understand what you've yeah. picked up or might not have picked up, but I know it has broadened one's perspective of life and there's, yes. there's more ways of looking at things and the linear, and I think that's the main value and a, and a whole lot of other things come with that, you start thinking more broadly about things in general. And I think the more sort of art you see, the more you learn mm. and the more your, your taste is refined. And the connections great. become yeah. more evident. And here, you know, with the Biennale, you there is so much to see. It's such a great sort of learning curve, I suppose, if you're just starting because you're exposed to, to all kinds of, of different art forms and again, some stuff you'll like and some you won't. I think it is a great thing for Sydney and you know, it can't, it, it can't continue unless, unless private supporters come on. And then you can see the outcome of this with much more support for our galleries. I mean, you go to the Art Gallery of New South Wales and it's packed these days. Mm. It's partly because of the, the wonders that are there, but it's also the fact that I think people are becoming more aware mm. of art, contemporary art. Mm.